Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software and I want to have a look at getting and installing some brush tips that are sort of cloud shaped that you can add to your photographs. These brush tips will actually also work in Affinity Designer um, but I'm only going to be looking at using them in Affinity Photo but they install and are used in pretty much the same way in Affinity Designer in the Pixel Persona. Um, so I'm, I'm sure like me you've all taken a photograph where the, on a day where there's no clouds or in my case here very few clouds of note. Um, but what I've done using these brush tips is add these extra cloud details which I hope you agree with me sort of they look quite natural and blending quite well so what I want to do is to try this again and we obviously won't end up looking exactly the same as what I did before because I'll probably pick different brush tips and different use them in a different way but you will get the idea so where do you get these brush tips well I'll go back to the internet here I found these at brush easy I mean brush is the, the, the main site um, and it's seven cloud brushes now these are Photoshop brush tips but Photoshop brush tips which I think is the ABR file format will work in Affinity Photo and Designer. Now, there are, by the looks of this, there are plenty of different cloud type brush tips that you can get. I mean, there's one here that's eight high res cloud brush tips. But some of these may be, pay, uh, you may have to pay for some of these, and some of these may be free. I've not looked at any other types, I've just looked at this one. I will add this web link into the description of the YouTube video so you can find it and as you can see it's a free download and once you've downloaded it onto your computer all you need to do then is extract it because it would be a zip file extract it and then install it so if I go back to Affinity Photo here. To install it, like any other free brush tips that you may come across and may want to use, if you come over to brushes and you tab up here in the right hand corner, next to this tab there's a little square. If you click on that, it does a drop down menu and you just come to import brushes and then you just go to wherever you have it downloaded and the actual file will end up being called cloud brushes high res number one of five of by leboeuf and you just i think there's also a mac version there as well yes yeah, so there's a mac version there as well but the PC version would be this folder and as you see it's an .abr file so you just click on that click on open and then Affinity Photo will install it or Affinity Designer will install it because it does that in exactly the same way and then what you do is come down to your list of brushes and it's I keep losing this because it's not named. I keep expecting to be called named. Oh, it's, it's actually secretly civilian dot dla dot am dash clouds one. You think you just call it clouds or something like that? But so there you have your seven brush tips. So what we need now is click on the paintbrush tool 
and you could do this in black but you know, clouds are going to be in white so you just need a brush to pick one of these brush tips to use on your image now I would advise you doing this on a separate layer because you may want to overlap some or what have you and it's easier to do if it's all on separate layers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this and as you can see they've got quite square edges of this particular one has so I mean probably best to maybe start in the corner but you don't have to and I'll put that about there I'll just click the once and I'll come off that tool so it's not getting in my way and as you can see here it has got very straight edges that are very visible but you can I mean if you come to the move tool you could resize this in whichever way you want and you could also lower the opacity down to help it suit because obviously I, I don't have a very brilliantly blue sky here and let me move this out of the way a second and as you can see the cloud the actual cloud that's in this picture which is a very muted and not very white cloud so I want to sort of get that same sort of look and feel to it so I'm just going to lower the opacity quite low here and then I'm going to come to the eraser tool now I've got the eraser tool set on 25% and a hardness of zero and then I'm just going to click quite a few times around the edges and especially over the statue here because obviously that's in the foreground and I want those clouds in the background and just lose those sharp edges there you go I think I'll leave that like that so I will then add another layer come back to the brush tool pick one of these other brushes let's try this one and I'm going to put this about there I think again I'll just maybe just make this slightly bigger like that um, you could also tinker maybe with blending modes um, but a lot of them don't really seem to make that much difference so what was that one I was on oh, soft light so that one's on soft light which has sort of pretty much toned it down to where I wanted to without altering the opacity but I will still just lower the opacity slightly to about there come to my razor tool and then just get rid of these straight edges that are in this brush and just to help blend them in together I mean, it is a little bit t time consuming, but I think, I hope you agree that the the effort in the end will be worth it. So I'll, I'll leave that as it is. I will then make yet another layer, come back to the brush tool, and one final one, maybe. Let's all right let's try this one here again I'll start in the corner like that use a move tool just to resize it and I'll see whether the soft light works again on this one yeah I'll, I'll, leave it, I'll put that on soft light and then just lower the opacity slightly that's about 80 let's go for 90% 90% on that one 
and then for the last time in fact I don't think I need to do too much erasing here there's no straight edges with this particular brush all right so yeah that could be the end of that I may still have a little bit of cloud over the statue let's come back to this first layer this is the beauty of putting them on different layers because you can still alter them afterwards if they're on different layers and I'll reduce the brush size down using the square bracket keys and just make sure there's no cloud over the front of the statue there we go in fact I might even raise the opacity up of that slightly just to make that a bit brighter and I think that will do so this was the version that I did first time when I tried it and this is the version which I've just ended up with so hopefully you see that using the the brush different brush tips of clouds whether you use this particular set or you find a different set it doesn't really matter but I would advise putting each brush tip like click once or twice depends on where you want and what you want in the sky on different layers and then you can tinker with the opacity or the blending mode to suit the color of your sky I'm going to do obviously if you had a really bright blue sky yeah the opacity and the blending mode may be totally different so I hope you enjoy trying this on your images and thank you for watching and goodbye